Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is David. Today I have a very interesting comparison between the Vivo X21 UD and Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Galaxy Note 8 is a flagship phone uh, from uh, August uh, last year and uh, the Vivo X21 UD came out just some weeks ago. And this is very, very, very interesting device. Not only for its uh, cap capability to unlock the phone via a fingerprint reader under the display. The Note 8, um, yeah, it's a good phone and is known for its, its uh, good camera. But uh, I will do a comparison here and show you that uh, that may not be the case that um, a flagship phone always win over a budget phone. The Vivo X28 UD uh, is half the price of a uh, Galaxy Note 8. Uh, at least when uh, the Note 8 was released. Please subscribe to my channel because it will really help me to develop this channel. Let's start with the comparison. So the first comparison will be an out of focus uh, challenge between the two devices. The first one will be in uh, full HD and the second one will be in 4K. So this is the first scenario in full HD. Uh, out of focus test. So I have the Vivo X21 at left and uh, the Note 8 on the right. See they are very good both of them. Almost instant uh, focus. And uh, now we are in 4K and uh, the same scenario. Here is checking the stabilization. We have the Note 8 on the right and the Vivo X21 on the left. This is in full HD. And uh, yeah, they perform more or less similar. This is in 4K and you can see that uh, the Vivo X21 do not support OIS on uh, the Note 8 on the other hand uh, seems to handle this very well. So the next test will be a slow motion test with the uh, Vivo X21. I tried to do it with uh, the Note 8 also, but I got some error in the input. So uh, let's check out how it performs. I'm a little unsure how many frames per second we are having in this scenario. But uh, you can see it, uh, yeah, it's uh, quite okay for this. Uh, kind of device. Not as good as the iPhone X or the Samsung S9. And uh, next up is uh, photo. And uh, I have some different scenarios. Here is a motorcycle, a very beautiful one. And uh, I want to zoom in so you can see it close up. So you can see both uh, phones uh, present this very very good. It's uh, a very very nice uh, image in both cases. So we are in the middle of spring so some flowers here and uh, look quite good both uh, in close up. Uh, you can see they are very fine pictures both of them. And here is uh, outside, you can see uh, the bridge over there and uh, I will zoom in. And as you can see they are pretty much alike, maybe a little bit more, a little better with the Note 8 on the right and the uh, Vivo X21 on the left. And here's another view and uh, I hope you can see it's uh, a very clear picture for both of them. I think the Note 8 presents a little more bluish tones uh, on the sea than the Vivo X21 and I think it's more color accurate. And uh, here you can see uh, inside uh, store and um, they present quite good images. 
But you can see on the left uh, where the X21 is, yeah, there's a, you see the sign there, it's more clear, it, you can read it more easily. So, uh, and here is a um, photo in a half dark environment. And uh, if you zoom in, you can see the, the colors are quite different. Uh, and I'm more what the Vivo X21 than the Note 8. And there is a bar, and you can see here when I zoom in at uh, the clock there, you can see that uh, the Vivo 21 on the left is uh, much more clear. They are taking the exact same uh, spot. So, and if you zoom in on the, the menu, you can also see uh, that it's a little bit clearer on the on the Vivo X21. And here is uh, three shots in different lighting condition. Here is in uh, broad daylight or inside at my house. And there's a uh, zoom. Uh, both, uh, you can see, uh, they are almost the same. But here, if we take a look at this uh, shot when we uh, zoom in, you can see that uh, the left photo with the X21 is a little, little more clear. And you can see the coin and the text is a little bit more clear. Here is a very dark environment. And uh, here, you can see that the Note 8 is much uh, brighter. The text is also a little clearer on the note from the Note 8. But uh, yeah, they are very good phones, both of them. So I was quite surprised to see how well uh, the Vivo X21 UD kept up with the, the Note 8 in most scenarios. Uh, and even surpassed it uh, in, in some occasions, as you can see from the pictures. So it was a very uh, interesting test. I will do a full review of this device, the Vivo X21 uh, UD, and uh, it hopefully I will be finished uh, with some days. So um, please subscribe if you haven't already and check the notification bell so that you get notified when the next video is uh, ready. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.